those things. Mookie Betts, historically a slow starter. I said yes. that. We've talked about it a lot. Historically a slow starter, but he's off to a horrendous start this season. Dave Roberts had said before the season started that he expected him to be in the NL MVP conversation, and if that's the case, everybody in the league must be dead right now. So with that being said, at what point do you start to worry about him? At what point will he bounce back? Will he bounce back? And Doug, no better way to start this off than you. Do I think he'll bounce back? I absolutely do think he will. But his start this season, when you look at his numbers, his exit velocity, his barrel percentage, if you look how he's feared against fastballs, this is a player that has mashed fastballs throughout his career. This year, not having as much success against heaters. He's chasing fastballs outside the zone. We were watching the game today. It was nice to see him get a hit early on. Only two extra base hits so far this season for Mookie Betts. And he's a guy at the top of the lineup that's supposed to be the tone setter. He's supposed to get on base and really be the catalyst for this Dodgers offense. And I just want to see more slug from Mookie Betts. And just a little more of a consistent approach at the plate because we're just not seeing the hard contact like we need to see from him early on. Like I said, zero barrels so far for Mookie. Just does not look like he's gotten comfortable and found a rhythm at the plate so far. But do I think he'll bounce back? I absolutely do. On the post-game show, what we've been saying is we're calling him Marcus until he earns the Mookie <laughs> name back. So we're going to be calling him Marcus until he starts playing like Mookie again. But will he bounce back? I absolutely do think he will. Look, if you remember the 2020 season, he got off to a slow start and and then he caught fire and he finished second in the MVP voting and he led the Dodgers or helped lead the Dodgers to a World Series championship. So Mookie Betts, he's going to put in that work. You know the commitment he has and the talent he has is the most important thing. So I absolutely do think that we're not going to be calling him Dookie Betts or Mookie Butts at any point during his Dodgers career. Mookie Butts. Mookie Butts. Sounds like Dookie a Simpsons Simpsons character. Dookie Butts. Oh, yeah, Dookie actually, Dookie that's what it is. 2020 season, Mickey Mouse season doesn't count, guys. We all know that. Uh, if you watched him against Kenley Jansen, it's about everything you need to know about how his season's going. Clint, you're always so positive. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna turn to you and All say, right. hey, what's going to happen? What do you expect from him? With Mookie? Yeah. Look, this is a guy who was my MVP pick, uh, MVP pick going into the season. So far, I'm looking like a dumbass. That's par for the course. Let's be real. Uh, I think he spent way too much time in the offseason golfing, bowling, doing too many things, maybe not putting enough hacks in. Of course, you don't need to be showing it on Instagram to be proving that you're doing it. But this is Marcus Lynn Betts. This is MLB. They named the sport after him. This is my Jerry Harrison segment, by the way. He's going to figure it out. That's what he does. But, but I do agree. And I've seen some comments on our lovely uh, uh, YouTube channel. Maybe, maybe my dude needs a couple of days. Give him a blow. Just let him be in the cage. Let him work with Austin Barnes. Noted. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, he's a noted Mookie Betts swing savant let him figure it out i'm just really glad you're not one of the people that's like eat a cheeseburger it's gonna help you no, it's I'm like not. you know there's a lot of guys who eat cheeseburgers around this league they're not doing too low hot. of me no 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 no. i just wanted to make sure you know we were all aboard the cody bellinger haircut train uh because we had nothing else left we had nothing else to <laughs> hope for speaking of